During that time, our organization grew up and it matured and in my humble opinion has long since operated at an NHL standard. In fact, over the years, many of our Moose staff, our trainers, our coaches and players, including several that will compete for this year's Stanley Cup, have been called up to pursue their NHL dreams. While it's always been gratifying to see that occur, it's also always caused us to ponder what it might feel like if one day our organization might receive that same call. Today, on behalf of my family, our partner David Thompson, and our entire organization, I am excited beyond words to announce our purchase of the Atlanta Thrashers. In a sense, I guess you could say the true north, our city and our province has received the call we've long since been waiting for. It is clear that times have changed for Winnipeg as an NHL market, and this is a wonderful time to add a club to Canada. Hockey in Canada has never been stronger. The NHL has a different economic system that allows these so-called smaller markets to compete. The NHL is coming off another season of record revenues in both Canada and the United States, and our prospects remain extraordinarily bright. This venue, the MTS Center, will be a fine, fine home for an NHL club, and there is the strength of the prospective ownership group. Uh, we now also, and perhaps this is the most poignant point, we get to be back in a place we wish we hadn't left in 1996. I have a deep attachment to the city, to the province, and to the country. I go back longer than I'd like to remember to my Hudson's Bay Company days. And probably of every nook and cranny, certainly in this country, uh, the rural communities, there's, there's a heartfelt sense of community in Winnipeg and in Manitoba. I've always felt inspired by the leadership, by the ambitions, and there's been more than a tinge of regret in me, as with all other Winnipeggers and Manitobans, that the Jets left. And in working through the development of MTS and forging a rapport and a working relationship with Mark and his executives, we feel very, very, very strongly about one another's values and about the possibilities that lie ahead. To actually move something forward that's distinctive, and that makes a difference in people's lives. So I am committed to this community as I am to this country. It's about time.